Good morning, my friends. Today is Saturday, September 17th, and I'm here with you at the Rising of the Sun. I'm coming back to Florida today, and I have with me this beautiful painting behind me. This is a painting by Chris's grandfather, who died in World War II. Cummings was his last name. He studied with Diego Rivera. Beautiful path of trees. Speaking of paths, in the Gospel of John today, Jesus uses the word trust a lot. And he talks about how he is like a light that shines in the darkness. And if we trust him, we will see the way. Instead of using the word faith, the translation I was reading, the New Living Translation it's called, uses the word trust. I like the word trust. I like the thought of when we shine a light in a dark room, before we shine that light, we have nowhere, we don't know where to go. We're, we're a little lost, we're groping in the dark. The light that we shine gives us a path forward. Trusting in God doesn't mean that you understand God or know really anything about God, but you tr put your trust in Jesus. When he says, follow me, you follow the light. Simply do what he did. A lot of people get faith confused with knowledge or understanding or certainty, and then they struggle because they have doubts. There is no conflict between faith and doubts. Doubts are part of faith. When you put your trust in someone, you always wonder if you made the right decision, right? But you do it anyway. You put your whole trust in Jesus, regardless of what your thoughts are or your feelings and you follow the path that he leads, the light that he shines into the world, a path of generosity, of self-giving, a path of peace, a path of healing. It's a pretty good path. And he assures us that when it comes to the darkest times, times of illness and dying, times of violence and chaos, if we just stick to the path, he'll take us home. So don't forget, no matter what is going on in your life, always ask yourself, Jesus is walking in front of me. Where does he walk? Where does the light shine? Let me put my trust in that path and simply walk it. It's quite simple, really. We make it so complicated. Just put your trust in him. Let us pray. Almighty God, we give you thanks for the path that you give us, the light that you shine in this world for us to follow, a way for us to see and understand. And we may not know for sure who you are or how it all works, but we can place our faith in you. We can trust you and walk forward. We ask you to bless, Lord, the sick today. Bless those who are dying. Bless the hungry. Bless those who mourn. Bless the caregivers. Bless the addicted and mentally ill. Bless those who are without a home or those who are without purpose or direction in their lives. Lead us today, Lord, in the path that lies before us. Give us work to do. Show us what to do, how to be, how to serve you today, each and every moment of this day. Bring peace to this world, Lord Christ, awareness and understanding to the human race. Bring us at last 
to your glory where we may see you face to face. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Have a great day.